A positive mental attitude can clear away all obstacles which stand between you and your major purpose in life. Let's do it. It's go time. Positive mental attitude. And you know this, man? It's a clever girl, beautiful girl. Me, I can eat no. I'll start by saying ugly is a word that should never be in anybody's vocabulary. It's like the word hate. Nothing good ever comes from using the word ugly. There is nothing ugly in this world, only other people's attitudes towards us at times. Today I ventured out to go to the local temple nearby. I was going with some friends and we were taking a, a food offering. <laughs> So we were to be shown around the temple and afterwards we could get to eat with the monks. Yeah, I'm Men on the left, women on the right. We have to walk on the left side. Traditionally, for a man, when entering a temple, it should be with your left foot first, and when exiting, it should be with your right foot. But there's a little bit of confusion as to whether the men go through the left door or the right entrance. Oh. For me, this was an awesome opportunity to establish where the temple was, to familiarize myself, to meet people, to meet monks, find a place of calm. I was basically looking for somewhere that I could go and have some me time, where I could just ground myself away from the daily chaos. <laughs> Yeah, Although I was super appreciative and had so much gratitude for the family that we were staying with, from a Chinese perspective, they want to tend to your every need. In Chinese society, people generally treat others with meals in order to make new friends or to establish a new relationship. And if they could feed you in your sleep, they probably would, because ultimately they just want to make you happy. But it's when eight to ten people are all making decisions, but not really consulting with you, 
then it becomes a little bit overwhelming so at this point I was starting to feel a little bit caged in because I wasn't allowed to venture out on my own it was considered dangerous with kidnapping being a westerner in an area where they never get westerners and the area was rife with gambling and prostitution both of which are highly illegal in China So it was a little bit problematic that if I wanted to go somewhere there was a huge discussion with people of which I generally wasn't a part of. Then I was escorted somewhere. I had somebody with me at all times. See that? So, and this isn't meant to sound negative at all. Because I'm sure many people have been in situations where you've gone to a relative's house and they want to take you out and show you the area. And I understand my control issues. Usually, I'm traveling with my own thoughts, making decisions for myself. So when all of that is taken away from you and people aren't really communicating with you, then I understood the, uh, the limitations of where I was at. <laughs> Ultimately, everybody just wants to put a smile on your face and make you happy in their environment. I just wasn't used to being in an environment with restrictions. Kind of felt like a bird having its wings clipped. But tomorrow is a brand new day to explore and have lots of fun. Guys, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so as it helps me out so much. Have an awesome day.